Welcome back everyone to the third Odyssey as Spartania and I've taken the liberty to go forward in between episodes a little bit because we have no manpower and at the moment nothing else to do but conquering so we needed this time off and now that all of our cores are in we had several events just like this one where we get to decide what we do with the natives we can uh, decide to enslave them which will change their culture to Tlacotin which is a culture that we actually accept um, right here or we can let them be which basically just reduces their unrest but leaves their culture and obviously we're going to enslave them as I said this is going to be the more martial dominating warlike culture and uh, the Elysian uh, series will be the more uh, peaceful one although we're going to have enough wars there as well but it's going to be a different approach anyways of course we're going to enslave them and that changed the uh, culture very nice now, uh, I do believe we have no non-accepted cultures. Where can I see this again? Oh, man. I don't remember. Where can I see the cultures? Oh, there's so many tabs. Uh, wow. I think it's here, government. There we go. So, Takotin... Oh, actually, Takotin is apparently not accepted. Interesting, I thought for sure they were, but okay, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's move on forward. Uh, we will go ahead and um, actually activate all of the fortresses. I had them turned off, but we should turn them back on. And we'll also spend money on army maintenance. Uh, because I do need to go to war with Klaponic. I've realized that uh, we, we want to go to war with them. Because once we take over these two provinces from them, we're going to get pl plus 10% man manpower recovery speed. And, uh, you know... I think that's just better if we wait, if we get these modifiers, if that makes sense. So we're going to wait for our morale to get back up. I am just building a um, spy network, nothing to worry about. Our truce have ended with one of our vassals, that's fine. And we will call them to war very soon. In fact, hmm, I guess we'll just, yeah, we'll stop right now and uh, declare the whoopsie declare the war we'll have our allies well our vassals go in to have mixed tech it doesn't really matter we're gonna full annex anyways and our vassals should go on the on the siege i guess or just offensive aggressive yeah it doesn't i mean yeah you know what just siege that's fine i don't want to spend my manpower sieging i will wait for them to to come at me i'm standing in highlands if they feel like attacking me uh, we can't actually see them, which is interesting. Alright. Yep, I should probably be helping. Yep, and you're busted, and I will follow you and destroy your army. Sweet deal. And now, this requires six troops. This requires nine. So, we will... Hmm. Probably have people attach. And we'll start sieging this. Um, yeah. I suppose. You split in half. You do have a siege. Uh, Leonidas actually does have a siege bonus. We might want to use that. Uh, how many? Hmm. How many men do we need? Six. Okay. And then we'll have you go to mixed attack. I guess I will have to siege myself, even though I didn't want to. But that's fine. And we'll get in here. So we have, f we need what six regiments. All right, fine. We'll we'll finish this first. I mean, it, we're at zero percent already, and then we'll crush these guys, and then we'll finish the siege here. That's fine. It shouldn't take too long anyway. We've got the walls busted here, luckily. So all right, that was fast, and then we'll just. Let you do this. Perfect. Uh, I do wonder if I should uh, send you over here. Yeah. Spare no expenses. I don't think we need that much military power right now. Yeah, let's just go here. Leonidas could help with the siege, but I don't think he needs. Oh, look at this. Hello, Elysia. Well, you better not run into my lands. Uh, look who's lo uh, looking for the seven cities of gold. That's funny. 
Okay, well, we will not spend any any of that, and we'll mothball our fortresses, and yeah, because the war is basically done. Uh, nothing to worry about anymore. And walls busted, 14%. Well, just as I said, <clears throat> full annex. How much? Okay, we can so store up a lot more. So that's nice. Come on. And uh, there goes Tlaponic. Let's full annex you. Oh, we definitely need to take these two. That's requested. And the coalition is kind of funny because the nation that will join the coalition is going to be gone. Anything else we can do? No. So let's just take their stuff. And there goes our Conquer the Ottomanguians mission. Very nice. Uh, of course, we want to make all of this a core. And let's go for a new mission. Incorporate Kalima into our country. Conquer the Maya. Uh, which would give us another inspiring victory. Which the Maya... Wait, this is Guatemala, Piten, Sotuta, Mani. Okay, these are... These lands. Now, incorporating Kalima into our country. When can I do that? When can we start annexing you? Um, Three years from now. We are already improving relations. Fine. Let's get our guys to our capital. And I kind of need to figure out how many of these fortresses I want to keep. I think I already decided that I want to keep most of those. Alright. Hmm. Proper fleet. Corporate Kalima. We have interesting reform ideas that we can go for. Recognize. Reorganize of the mines. During the conquest, the richest, most productive gold mines were given to the generals that got there first. A massive slave labor operation have led to a wealth of gold reaching in their pockets alone. This leads to massive inflation without any benefits to us and diverts labor from fields that need it, like farming. Clearly, some regulations are in order. We lose 100 ducats, stability, and 50 diplomacy, well, diplomatic points, but I think this might be worth it in the end. Let's actually go for it. I think that's the most important right now to get the gold and see what happens. All right, we lost stability. Reorganizing the gold mines. We've assembled the maps, treaties, and deeds required to start the reorganization. There are a handful of highly productive regions that are being focused on. Now all that remains is how exactly to regulate it. Issue mining charges to prominent merchant guilds. Where we would lose inflation and mercantilism. Uh, Tecnotitlan or whatever. Te 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 Tenochtitlan. Uh will become on okay yeah i see the merchants don't really see the merchants in power of this to be honest give it to the pilpitin gain 5000 manpower unrest in every owned province and then okay reorganization finished give it to the apogonoi in exchange for tithe army tradition Increasing their influence. Or we will rule it ourselves. Gain corruption. What? Five corruption? Come on. Come on. Wait, we're not ready yet. Okay, so we get our money back. That seems like an awfully bad idea. All of this. This seems really terrible. None of this is at, at all good. You know, I'll take this stuff back. Yeah. These are all terrible. <laughs> Status of, of the ports. For m much of our nation's existence, we have operated under a war economy. As a consequence, many of our ports have been closed to prevent smuggling. I think I've read this before. Hmm, land distribution. Volunteers that came with the Laconia adventurers that joined our armies when they arrived probably expected to be showered with the wealth of the Barbarai lords, but most of that wealth remains locked up in the generals and turncoat lords. This has resulted in large amounts of unproductive urban poor in the, our capital, who started uh, a grain doll as a temporary measure, but most permanent solution must be taken. Maybe this sounds better. Base tax in Laconia. Hmm. Court reforms. Let's go for this. Maybe this is better. Redistribute state territory. Gain 25 local autonomy. Local production cost. Local development cost. Quest stack. 
Hmm, this does, doesn't seem like a really good idea to lose stability over. The vent small farms booming. Okay. The Spectre of Cicero, or yeah, the Doomer of Empires, the Great Menace has reared its ugly head now in our nation. Land reform has always been a popular move among the poor who stand directly to gain. It's less popular among the rich, however, which is why we need to be careful in our preparations. So if we do this, it gives us development and construction costs in this just random province. And autonomy. Okay, well, I'm... There's going to be another event, so I'm going to be... I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what the, the small farm event is. Which is supposed to happen, or was that the one? I just... It, it's... Okay, there we go. No, that's something else. As we arrive in the conquered lands of the Tlaponic, one cannot ignore the beauty of this place. Emerald waters, white sand, evident forests make this bay an attractive spot to settle. Great. But, yeah, I mean, I gotta say, honestly... These events are not good. They're shit. They're actually pretty garbage. Now, this is already a Highland Province. I think we don't need this Coastal Fortress. Yeah, we will keep this one for now. But damn, these decisions. They suck. They honestly suck. I don't know. I don't know if they're supposed to suck like that. Uh, Alright. Apparently you can only, you know, pick so many ideas. Hmm. I'm underwhelmed. Anyway, are you guys allied? By chance, I might just declare war on you. Reconquest. Oh. You know what? That was stupid. We're not even ready for this. Oopsie. Activate the fortresses. I mean, I could just besiege it as well. Conquer the Maya. Fine. We'll do it. And we'll get the uh, technology. And I might just build a large cannon. Because I can. Yeah. And you guys are going to besiege the lands. And I will declare war on you as well. As soon as I can. Conquest. Oh, you have... You have cores? Well, no, 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 no. I'm going to conquer the lands myself. I do need to be careful though because Kiche apparently has their own claims that they that they want to take. Uh, anyway, let's let's go claim this. I believe I don't need to turn on these fortresses back here. They're pretty useless. So we can at least save a little bit of cash on those. Good. So we'll let them besiege our Vassal's lands. I will have my horsemen here. You'll besiege the capital. Yep. Get in here. Actually, I'll stay here. This is fine. Yeah, you know what? Let's just conquer them. Conquer their stuff for now. Okay, you're fighting. You're pretty brave. A little bit stupid, maybe, as well. But that's okay. As long as they stay here, they don't bother me all that much. I'll take this. Lose prestige or points. We'll lose the prestige. Uh, I just gotta say, uh, I'm gonna conquer all of this because these, these events, they seem so underwhelming. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay, you guys are just suiciding yourselves. Um, hmm. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. I've just lost a diplomat. I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, let's get our troops together. And maybe I should help my vassals in fighting here a little bit. Consolidate and attack. Crush them. We have... What have we just gotten? Our, oh, our heir, Gorgo, which is a woman, by the way. She is an inspiring leader, giving us extra morale. Very nice. I think we'll uh, 
crush this army and go back to Belize and finish sieging this. I don't know how many men we need. 6,000 only. Let's get the horsemen out. And maybe... I don't know. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's get you guys out of here. I hope they're not going to crush me. No, okay, we'll finish this, this war. We'll have our vassals just suicide themselves. Um, it's a nice distraction, so I can actually do the, the heavy lifting. And then we'll come in and crush them at some point. But yeah, as I said, these, these ideas, they are so just weird. So not good that, I don't know, it's confusing. Actually, you can probably turn off this fortress as well. There's always the capital fortress to hold it. So you can save even more money. Oh, glorious. The cannon will help significantly. Yes. And we just gained a bunch of cores. Um, I'm gonna help here. Unless, of course... No, you don't have any claims there. Alright, let's turn this off as well. Don't think we need this. And we'll enslave them. Of course, we'll enslave everyone. Why not? Enslave all the people. How many do we need here? Probably only six. So... Let's get all of you out there. Yeah, we've got plenty of troops. Hmm. I would love to help out there, but they seem to be happy just going back. They don't dare to attack me, which is funny. You'll all be enslaved. I have the feeling now they're going to come. They're going here. Oh, yep. All right. Nice. Well, you've got no chance. You are deleted. Okay, I'm just gonna leave my troops here so we can finish this quick. We can also go... Since we did take the technology, we can now go for the regiment costs. And we'll enslave even more people. Very nice. Come on. Will be all enslaved. And natives of Yopitsinko, more civilized. As time passes, the natives of this particular province have learned to embrace our culture. They're now considered Ma Masehueltin. Okay, so this is. <sighs> Which province? I, I, I wish they, they would rename these provinces as well. Just, just something a little bit more e easier to uh, understand. Okay, this has already changed. Okay, so this is a culture we accept. I see. I like that. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, do I have accepted cultures as well? Yeah, so Takotin makes up the biggest portion. And that's of, uh, yeah, of the people that we always enslave and stuff. Alright, that has fallen. And I will probably just... Oh, we need to siege this first. Okay, I see. Um, well, in that case, I will send you guys over here to help with the siege. Oh, and small farms booming. Ah, there we go. Okay, so these events do have something good. The redistributed territories are experiencing an ag agricultural boom. And more importantly, Neo-Sparta has had its homeless people problem significantly reduced and it's now much more productive we're now ready for another reform perfect so we did lose one we, we lost stability at a couple of points as well as one base tax i believe in, in neo sparta and we did gain three development overall in this province as well as this modifier okay seems still i don't know if that's the most useful to be honest but, okay. Apparently, we now have a... Oh, I see. Unreformed economy. Ah, alright. We have so many negative... Oh, okay. We lost construction cost and development cost. Ah, okay. Okay, so this is what these reforms do. They get rid of the negative modifiers. That makes a lot of sense. So we still don't have any merchants. Production efficiency is slightly reduced. Embargo efficiency... Okay, diplo tech cost. 
Ah, okay. So, okay. There is the value. There is the value in doing this. Sweet. Now, I guess what we'll do is we'll spend up points on improving this. I think what we should be doing is actually deification of Leonidas, herald training. We have severe shortage of herods, the specialized missionary diplomatic class of our priesthood. We can send out a message to the Elysians for help or try to train some of our own. What is uh, this? The deities of this land are wrathful and demanding, requiring blood sacrifice from its worshippers. Well, we obviously will not be doing such. Some priests among us believe at least token offerings might help appease them. The worship of Quetzalcoatl, or Quetzalos, as he is known among the 300, has grown quite popular. Mm, maybe we should get a new deity. Uh, that would help us with our religion. We kind of need to convert people because it's hurting our stability points. Deification of Leonidas. There is a schism in our holy priesthood over the divinity of our founder Leonidas. So long as this schism stands, our people will be divided. Call a meeting of all priests of any merit in Neospa to discuss the matter. I think we'll do that after he dies, maybe. Herald training. Let's see what we can worship about this guy. Now, uh, the priests of Spartania are gathered together in New Sparta and the debates have begun. Nobody in the room doubts the terrible power the Laconian gods have of the local Barbaroi. The main topic, in fact, is whether any of the deities are worthy of worship by the sons and daughters of Heracles. One deity in particular, a comparatively benevolent feathered serpent known, as the known to the natives as that guy, um, has attracted much attention in this front. Now, is as true and righteous as any other. Integration of Mesoamerican gods, regain tolerance, but no missionary strength, or let the Barbarai keep their weak gods. We gain missionary strength, that is what I want. Extra missionary strength. We still do not have a missionary, so that was... Should probably have waited. Yeah, I should have just waited. Okay. Next time I will wait. Um... Oh, and these guys, right. Why didn't I think about this? We need to <laughs> we need to conquer you. Thank you for the cash, by the way. See you later. And let's core it all. There we go. And yeah, in the meantime, we'll just wait for this to end. We have improved relations with you already. Okay. Tikal, the capital of the Maya civilization. Before the Elysians arrived, before the Romans fought the Turks, or even before Romulus fought his brother, the ancient Mayan city of Tikal flourished. Starting out as a modest series of hamlets, it became the greatest Mayan city-state to ever exist, with more than two dozen major pyramids, 130 square kilometers of developed land, and a population reaching 100,000 people. Its grandeur can still be seen in his ruins, especially his various acropolis holding various shrines, tombs, and what seems to even, 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 be an ancient palace. Who knows what secrets this ancient city still holds hidden? So, these ruins have great potential, we'll rebuild them. Of course we will. We've seen that this is uh, pretty useful in the long term, so we're definitely going to go for that. And we need to help out. Oof. To help in this fight. Okay, we'll kill a lot of these guys. Very nice. It's actually really nice to have the vassals with their own manpower pool. I didn't think about this, but um, I'm actually glad I didn't outright conquer everyone. Decline of the Apogonoi power. Okay, lose influence. That's nice, I suppose. Don't particularly care, but it's always good to know. Now, we have a pretty big problem, which is that we don't get any renaissance. The ruins of Palenque. Uh, one of our explorers found some rather interesting ruins. They describe a small stone city filled with temples, pyramids, and other such buildings, all filled with the beautiful and haunting, haunting carvings found yet, found yet, and their rather impressive architecture. Most of the city has been absorbed by jungle and most of the treasures looted, but one could still learn much from this place or even repair it and attempt to resettle it. Study it, settle it, leave it. Ah, uh, we're gonna settle it, which is right here, this province. 
Yeah, I want it, I want it settled, dude. Let's just settle it. We've got the resources. Okay, this has been done. Can we uh, conquer? No. Well, you will say yes very freaking soon. As soon as your troops are destroyed, you will say yes. Um, so, I'll take your cash. See you later. And they're not even... Oh, no! No! Damn it! They had province over here. Fuck. And we actually have to wait like 15 years for that. Oh! Alright, fine. I messed up big time. Ugh. Well, do I want to have a fortress here? I don't think so. Do I want to have a fortress here? I don't think so. And I don't want one here either. Let's get rid of them all. Ah, oh, what a fail. What a freaking fail. Damn. Well, anyways, we've lost the Spartan dominance. And get nothing in return, it seems. Let's make all of this cause. Oh, I can't believe it. And this is, a, this is our core as well. We wouldn't even have to core it. Damn it. Alright. Our uh, overextension is dangerously high. That's fine. And I guess what we'll do is start annexing one of our vassals. And now it's going to be pretty long time. Uh, improve relations here. Before we can really do anything else. Uh, so I will have to end this episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll be back next time once we got any new events.